Hi guys, I've been watching some videos on Instagram with Draw With Jim Field and I thought why not make this into a little tutorial of a little cake topper. If you want to learn to draw along with Jim, his videos are on his Instagram and website and I'll put links in the description box below for you to find those as well. So Jim's drawings have inspired me to make this little character in cake or with a mini roll. So baking ingredients at the moment have been pretty limited so I've bought some ready-made Cadbury's logs. So it's not going to be a long video this one, a nice short one. And I would like to thank Jim for allowing us to make his character from the book Oi Frog. To start with my little chocolate log, I'm just going to add some edible pens. So these are edible pens, please don't use a normal felt pen on something that you're going to be eating. And we're just kind of drawing some white lines kind of in circles for the end of the log. And then some lines in black across the top. So just horizontally, maybe add the odd little knot with a little circle and some of the lines going around that circle. So once you've covered the chocolate log in these lines, again remember it's an edible pen this, once you've done that, let it dry. So I tried highlighting some bits in yellow, but once the yellow had dried, it didn't show up too much. So I don't think I'd bother with the yellow, if you guys are repeating it. And what I'll do is I'll put links in the description box below to the pens and anything that I've used in the video. So now I've got some green modeling paste. You can use fondant if you prefer. Um, the modeling paste was just a bit firmer for me to use. And we're kind of, kind of, I'm not sure what shape to describe it as. We start with a circle and we kind of squidge it into this shape. Now I'd advise looking at Jim's drawing when you're doing this as well to help you with what it should look like. We've kind of put a little point almost at the top either edge and we're drawing a line across for the mouth and it needs to kind of slope downwards at the side. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the body so that the mouth looks like it's sticking out of that side there. We're going to put a couple of little crease lines just under each eye. Now I've rolled two bowls of white. Again I've got modeling paste but you can use fondant if you prefer. And just using a dab of water, we've just pushed those on the top of the head at either side. Now I'm just going to use my pen again, so an edible pen, but if you've got food colouring, you can paint with food colouring instead. And we're going to put a little dot in each eye. Now just be careful the eyes don't drop off, if the water hasn't had much time to dry, these will fall easily. And you can leave it as it is, or if you prefer to add more shading, you can use some edible powdered dusts. Again, I'll put links in the description box below to what I've used in this video for you. So I've just kind of dusted under the mouth and around the edges. And then we're going to paint some darker spots. Or in this case, I'm going to draw some darker spots with my edible pen. Again, you can paint with the food colours if you prefer. The edible pen just made things a little bit quicker and easier for me. So now he just needs some eyebrows. Now on the drawing, the eyebrows are higher than the eyes. But for this, we're going to have to attach them. You can either make two little pieces with black modeling paste and just tiny or you can get hold of sprinkles which I've just showed you in the video as well so these were little dark chocolate sprinkles and they just press on the top of each eye. I've tried to angle the eyebrows upwards in the middle as well and then we're just going to stick it to the chocolate log. Now I've used water you can use edible glue or a little bit of royal icing then for the legs we're going to roll some really thin pieces of the leftover green that we had I'm just going to cut them at this point so they're really thin at the bottom, slightly thicker where they're going to attach to the body. Just going to put a little bit of water on there again and we're just going to press them up tight against the frog's body. Oops, sticking them in place on the chocolate log, Ooh, if it wants to go in place. So we're going to roll a piece of green even thinner now and out of that we're going to make our hands and feet. So once I've made sure it's thinner than the legs we're going to bend it just slightly. And then we're going to cut, put a smaller piece in the middle there. Probably have to cut this down a bit shorter. And I'm going to do this for the hands and for the feet. Be very careful with this. Be quite soft when you're first picking it up. Just going to position that on the log next to him. And another one just there. Now they look quite big. I think we'll probably trim those down in a bit. Yeah, let's go a little bit shorter with these. Just make sure you've got a fairly sharp knife for this. Just going to put a little hole in at the shoulder point where I want the arm to attach. Because we're going to use more thin pieces of this paste. I'm going to push it into the hole and then I'm going to kind of press it against the top of the hand. So you might need a dab of water at the end of each of this piece and the same for the other arm. And then we've done the same for the feet as we did for the hands, only this time we're kind of sticking them upwards. So they will need to be pressed tight against the chocolate roll. And you can stick them on anything, I just thought the chocolate rolls already were similar to the log that he was sitting on. And also I like the chocolate rolls. I ate a number of chocolate rolls while making this video. The ends of the toes and fingers, we're just going to roll some very tiny little balls and I'm going to press them on. Now I'm squashing them a bit when I press them on, but that's fine, I don't mind that. 
So if you didn't manage to roll your fingers and toes or feet very thin, then you'll find that the balls on these end up quite big. The circles at the end of the toes want to be a bit bigger than the toes. So we'll just do exactly the same with the ends of the fingers. I'm just going to add a bit of shading with my pen, just down the edge of each leg, arms and fingers. Now it might be that you need to let it firm up a little bit first. You can see when I'm trying to do it, it's moving around just a little bit. There he is, all finished. Hope you've enjoyed the video and again another thank you to Jim for letting us do this and do pop over to his page and have a look at his free drawing tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.